Hello everyone, this is Gaston, admin of the healthcare engineering team. It's my pleasure to meet you all in another wonderful video series. As we have promised earlier in our previous video series, today we are coming up with another new video series where we are going to interview experts from the healthcare industry. Our first interviewee is Mr. Kaushik from Hyderabad. Let me give a short summary about him. Mr. Kaushik is basically from Tamil Nadu and working in a well-known medical devices company in Hyderabad. He works as a junior executive in quality assurance and regulatory affairs in the medical devices section. Apart from his main job, he is very engaged with healthcare blogging. He is a healthcare blogger and all his healthcare blogging details are given in this video's description. Since he shared so many valuable ideas with us, it took around one hour for the entire interview. For the viewers convenient, we divided the entire interview into a few parts. In this part, we are going to ask him about himself, about his educational qualification and how his educational qualification supports him to perform well in his job and his current role and about his experience from all his industry and many more important questions which will help the students and the newbies to the healthcare industry. So we request all the healthcare viewers to watch his entire interview to gain knowledge from his experiences and also please share this video with your co-workers and with your friends to let them know what are the skills we need to upgrade ourselves to perform well in the healthcare industry. Finally, I would like to request our healthcare viewers to subscribe our YouTube channel Healthcare Engineering and please share this with your circle so that your friends and your co-workers also get more and more ideas on healthcare engineering. And also please make sure that you watch the rest of the part of his interview where we are going to release in one or two days. Thank you. Without further ado, let's start watching and learn from his experience. Hello viewers, uh, in, uh, in today's interview, uh, my friend Kaushik from Tamil Nadu is going to give his, uh, is, is going to share his wonderful experience with us. First of all, I would like to welcome Mr. Kaushik to our, in, um, for, to our healthcare engineering team, to provide your valuable skills and share with our viewers. How are you Kaushik? How do you feel today? Hi Gaston, I'm fine. How are you? Very good, very good. Uh, thank you so much for your time to giving us the interview. Yeah, I would like to thank you and healthcare engineering team for uh, giving this wonderful opportunity to talk uh, in front of healthcare professionals. Pleasure is Hope, my Hope uh, this session will be for you. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Thank the, you. The aim of this kind of interview is just sharing the valuable knowledge and skills uh, from the expertise like you from the industry, the new students and the newbies who are entering the healthcare sector so they can uh, update their self, right? Without going here and there, uh, directly they can um, get the idea from the expertise like you, which way they can improve, right? Yeah. Yeah, really the healthcare engineering team uh, is doing a great job uh, by providing a platform for uh, youngsters, young biomedical engineers to gain knowledge about what is happening in the real industry, real world. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I appreciate thank your you so efforts. Thank you so much. Regarding the healthcare engineering yeah. team, I would like to say a huge thank you again for the time. Because I know um, the, you guys are running out of time, right? <laughs> because every day working here and there, right? okay. And uh, since we are friends, as long as I know, you are from Tamil Nadu and working in, uh, for the working purposes, you are staying in Hyderabad and working in a uh, very um, uh, profound <coughs> medical devices company, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Without further ado, let's get into the interview so you can share your valuable thoughts, right? Thus. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Shall we start? Yeah, sure, sure. First of all, uh, could you please introduce yourself to our healthcare engineering viewers? Yes, yes, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I'm Kaushik and I'm from Tamil Nadu. 
So basically, I'm a biomedical engineer. Uh, did my undergraduate in uh, Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore. Mm -hmm. So and I have a uh, 1.5 years of experience in uh, medical device industry. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm working in uh, Hyderabad-based uh, medical device company. Mm -hmm. So I hope uh, this session will be a useful session. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how long you are staying in Hyderabad? Because since you are working now in Hyderabad, so your entire experience is from Hyderabad or you gain some experience from Tamil Nadu also as well? Yeah, yeah. So uh, during my college days, uh, in my eighth semester, I started with my internship. So I got an uh, internship offer uh, from a uh, Chennai based medical device startup. Oh, okay. So I, I was there in Chennai, working in Chennai for uh, around uh, 1.4 years. Mm. So like uh, for uh, initial few months, I was working as an intern. After that, uh, I was taken in as a trainee engineer. Mm. So recently, I got an offer in uh, this Hyderabad based MNC. So like three and a half months back, I shifted to Hyderabad. Yeah. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay. So you said uh, yeah. you, you have your bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering, right? And uh, do you have yes. any uh, yeah. postgraduate studies? Any specialties? Yeah. Uh, uh, MBA in op yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, let me explain. Yeah, I'm doing MBA in operations and production management. Uh, it's a distance education. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it from uh, Suresh Gyan Vihar University. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, it's been uh, one year into it. Still, one more year is uh, the final. So, it seems yeah. uh, while doing an MBA, you are carrying on your work also, right? So, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. okay. So, is it hard? How do you feel? Can you manage both of them? I don't think uh, it is hard. Uh, but it's quite challenging. Yeah. Uh, like. Understand. Uh, we have to ma we have to manage our uh, spare time in a good way so that we can uh, balance both. Yes, 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 yes. It's challenging that. and interesting too. <laughs> okay, Kaushik. Uh, Kaushik, uh, could you please yeah. share about your researches or the final year projects, whatever you have done in your bachelor's or maybe whatever you are doing in the current MPA studies? Have you done any kind of researches related to our field? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, during my uh, final year uh, engineering, so like uh, me along with my uh, uh, batchmates, <laughs> did a project which is related to solving a problem in food drop. Mm -hmm. Actually, food drop is a condition where uh, the affected person uh, cannot land their food properly on the floor. Mm -hmm. So, in order to solve this issue, mm -hmm. so we have tried uh, performing a procedure called functional electric stimulation. Mm -hmm. So, by the use of this procedure, uh, we have tried to solve this issue in a pro so like it was just a prototype stage I uh, hope uh, we can continue further yeah mm -hmm. oh, okay okay seems quite interesting yeah, uh, yeah. okay 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 uh, Kaushik uh, can you relate how your um, Bachelor's degree is helping you to perform well in the current industry. Do you think that your yes. bachelor's degree is very supportive uh, to you? Uh, that's actually a good question. Hmm. Uh, definitely, our bachelor's degree is on a like kind of entry ticket to enter into the industry. Hmm. So it is very useful. Uh, where we can initially start off our career but after that we have to keep on updating ourselves and definitely there needs a little bit of fine tuning in what we have in our uh, engineering mm -hmm. with with the with the behavior of gaining knowledge daily we can sure uh, 
scope up in the industry with what we have learned in our uh, engineering. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I know you are working in a, in a very respect, uh, very uh, well. Uh, how can I say? A well-known company in uh, Hyderabad, right? In a medical devices company. Uh, can you elaborate your current yeah. job role in the company? And yeah. What are the duties? You so now uh, I'm working as. A, yeah. And your current sure, duties, sure. please. So now I'm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm working as a junior executive in uh, quality assurance and regulatory affairs in uh, medical device segment. So I have joined this organization uh, before three months. So I'm quite early into this role. So here I, I am uh, taking care of uh, MDR activities. That is uh, European Union medical device regulation activities, oh, okay. like a kind of gap analysis. MDE to MDR transition, hmm. like and change control activities. Since it's a manufacturing organization, uh, like I was also coordinating change control activities. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, I was uh, taking care of this design verification and protocol things. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm also dealing with uh, product regulatory standards. Uh, usually, there is a separate standard for each uh, each and every product we are using in our healthcare. So I'm also dealing with this uh, regulatory standards of uh, individual products uh, based on that regulatory standards. I used to give inputs for a testing team, our uh, quality control team. Uh, yeah, these are my current roles. Hmm. Hope uh, it will go well. Okay, all the very best for you. Form well in the current industry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Uh, Kaushik, uh, as you have mentioned that this is your uh, second job, right? Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, could you please uh, explain me about your experiences, whatever you have gained from the previous uh, industry you have worked, overall experiences? Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure, Gaston. Yeah. So, as I said, during my uh, final semester of college, uh, I started with my internship in a medical device startup. So, like, uh, the name of the company is Cornerstone Devices Private Limited. It's a Chennai-based startup. So, I started with my internship there. I the knowledge about uh, clinical validation. And, uh, like, it's a, it's, since it's a startup, we are involved in the product development. It's actually an innovative project uh, which was going on there. So I was also involved in this design and development activities, uh, risk management activities. Apart from that installation, calibration and testing, a uh, bit of technical documentation, servicing, troubleshooting on these kind of, these are the things I've been involved there. So I did the internship there for around uh, six to seven months. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, I've been taken in as a trainee engineer. So like, in my trainee engineer role, uh, like I continued what I was doing in my internship. Mm -hmm. Same like the design and development, technical documentation, uh, those kind of things. Okay. So like uh, after 1.4 years, uh, I got a new is the medical device organization okay so i shifted here uh, so far i've uh, been working here yeah mm -hmm. so it seems uh, though you have worked around uh, one and a half to two years you gained uh, so much of experience in between these uh, time period right yeah yes yes and like um, i'm still gaining mm. uh, hope uh, this learning process continues yeah, yeah yeah we have to consider ourselves as a students right even though we are yeah, growing yeah, that's true we have to consider ourselves students we have to keep learning that's correct yeah, yeah that's true uh, so okay coming to the point about your company uh, your company have any specializations because uh, in a nutshell i can say about the companies there are two types of companies as long as i know first one is manufacturing companies they are producing their own products and they market it 
some big companies like um, Johnson and Johnson, Siemens, Toshiba. They are manufacturing companies. For example, there are several companies who are acting as a vendor companies. So they buy main uh, products from the manufacturers and they act as a vendors. So could you please uh, connect about your company with these uh, models? How your company acts? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. Actually, we are a manufacturing company. Oh, very good. Uh, we are uh, manufacturing products uh, like infusion therapy products like uh, IV set, okay. syringes, needles, blood transfusion sets. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, many variants in these devices. So we are also producing different variants in these kind of mm -hmm. infusion therapy products. It's mm -hmm. going on. Going on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And you are, you, you, you are working as a... Uh, what 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 is your title of of your job role? I'm working as a junior executive in uh, quality assurance and regulatory office. So that means you have to make sure that your product products are uh, achieving the certain quality use in the market, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and also to ensure. Uh, Required regulatory standards. Yes, 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 yes. With respect to product as well as process systems. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, coming to the next point, we can. Can you share about? Did you have any uh, hands-on experience with advanced medical devices? Because you are working, you have worked in two different types of sectors. Uh, one in Tamil Nadu and then the current one is in Hyderabad and have you gained any experience yeah. handling and advanced medical devices so far in any of the industries? Yes, sure I'll explain about it. Okay. So as I said, uh, hmm. uh, actually uh, we are uh, doing where I was involved in a uh, kind of innovative project. Hmm. So. Uh, like, uh, let me explain about the project. Uh, explain a scenario where, uh, in a healthcare settings, in a healthcare setting, doctors will usually perform biopsy test, which means uh, they will insert a needle uh, into patient's body to take to access any kind of lesion or tumor. Basically, it's a process of inserting the needle into patient's body. It's mm. called biopsy. Mm. Uh, it might be for various reasons. So this pro this project is all about uh, helping those clinicians who are performing these needle guided procedures. Mm. There are many kinds of needle guided procedures like pain management. Uh, there are many things like that. Mm -hmm. So our uh, project will help the clinicians to insert the needle into patient's body in a desired direction. So mm -hmm. imagine a scenario where while a clinician is inserting a needle into mm -hmm. patient's chest to access a lesion, which means a tum tumor cell which is located near the heart. Mm -hmm. What might happen if the trajectory, which means the direction of the needle with which the doctor is inserting is slightly deviates it might puncture a nearby vital organ like heart and it may lead to even a death of patients. Mm. So in this case, uh, our project will help clinicians to insert the needle in a desired set angulations. Mm -hmm. So I found it is quite interesting, uh, uh, useful project uh, which I came across and in my current organization also there were uh, some interesting projects related to infusion therapy going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So it seems um, those kind of technology is not in the market so far, I guess, right? Am I correct? Is it yeah. currently under developing stage, right? Hmm. Yes, yes, it's under development. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how do you feel about your working environment in the company, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, with respect to working environment, I would say like my role will be like uh, 
50 50 like 50 percentage of uh, this desktop job and 50 percentage will be related to the process where i have to get involved in the process like testing uh, those kind of things mm -hmm. process improvement things those kind of things so actually it was very interesting and uh, challenging thing to interact with uh, many experienced uh, professionals healthcare professionals mm -hmm. uh, like up uh, since we can gain knowledge uh, from doing the job, apart from that, we can also gain knowledge by interacting with uh, such an experienced professionals. And uh, like since I'm also early into this career, uh, it's been interesting to learn some innovative and uh, challenging uh, things about products and processes, systems, how uh, manufacturing unit is performing. Those kind of things are really challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, still, I'm uh, learning. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because hmm. uh, why I ask these kind of questions is uh, because uh, mm -hmm. I also have a certain year of experiences uh, working in the companies. Um, yeah. My job was uh, like a field related job, right? I, I worked as a product specialist. So mine was uh, mostly related to the field. So we have to go to the hospitals, talking with the doctors, explaining about our products and like that. So it seems your one is 50-50, uh, like the desk job as well as the field related. I mean, the you have to handle all the, you have to make sure the qualities as well, right? Yeah, yeah. About yeah. your products. Okay, okay. 